I wanted to talk about one of the most important findings that's been confirmed over the last year, and that's that quantum electrodynamics, QED, emerges from the quantum field. And there were a series of papers by Anna Maria Seto and Luis de la Pena where they show how the QED through stochastic electrodynamics emerge from the quantum field theory through the zero point field theory as they refer to it. For me, when I talk about the quantum field, I mean the zero point field version of it. And when you talk about quantum electrodynamics, there are three main types that people normally talk about from most imaginary to possibly real would be the many worlds interpretation, Copenhagen interpretation, and then the pilot wave interpretation or Du Bois Brahm. And, but people don't normally add in stochastic quantum mechanics and stochastic electrodynamics, which are based on the idea of quantum mechanics being emergent from the zero point field, from the quantum field, which if it is, and it appears like it is, then that means that we don't have this imaginary magical quantum field theory that everybody hates or most people hate and charlatans like to talk about. We have a real theory that emerges from something real. Now I won't get into the alternative theories. I, we can do that in another video. But as I've talked about before, if we look at how electrodynamics and quantum electrodynamics emerge, Dickey made the point in his 57 paper that I'll link that the permittivity, permeability, and consequently the speed of light are emergent properties of a polarizable medium. And that there needs to be a polarizable medium because if electromagnetic fields are real, you have to have a polarizable medium. You have to have something actually with dipoles in order to have electric and magnetic fields because you need to have the ability to rotate in order to polarize and to rotate more to cause magnetism, magnetic fields. But what people don't often realize, even if they realize that, is that means the impedance, which is the square root of permeability over permittivity, or the admittance, which is the inverse, are also emergent. But the impedance also equals 2 times the fine structure constant times Planck's constant divided by the electric charge, unit electric charge squared. So 2 alpha h over e squared. So that means that the impedance, admittance, the electric charge, fine structure constant, and Planck's constant are all emergent properties of the quantum field. And I've shown in separate papers based on an idea by Dirac that all particles get their mass by pushing against the quantum field. I ended up deriving the mass of the proton, mass of the electron, mass of the neutron effectively using that methodology just based on their radii. Based on the radius you can assume there's a spherical shell capable of scattering not only electrons but quantum fluctuations and by doing so it gives a particle mass. And then looking back on the quantum field having dipoles, it has the Casimir effect. So there's dipole-dipole interactions of the van der Waals force type, which means there's van der Waals torque, which regulates how rapidly the dipoles can move given their energy. But it also regulates their wavelength and their frequency, how fast they rotate which means that 
The Van der Waals talk, torque regulates distance and time throughout space, throughout the quantum field. Which means relativity theory also emerges. So given those things, classical electromagnetism and all of its physical constants are emergent properties of the quantum field. So the missing piece of the puzzle is, well, how do we get electrodynamics out of that? And it turns out that the answer is quantum jumps. Now, I came up with an idea for quantum jumps that if you have in the dipole particle pair model of the quantum field where you have electron positrons as an example, if you have an electron here and you have a virtual positron here, it can annihilate with it, causing the new electron to be free at a distance, which makes it appear to jump. And these jumps progress in random directions, leading to Brownian motion. And it turns out that Fenius, back in the 1940s, I believe, came up with a theory that if you have Brownian motion, randomized Brownian motion, that you can get quantum mechanics out of that. And he called it stochastic quantum mechanics. There have been other writers too that have been working on stochastic quantum mechanics. But the message we learned from that is pretty simple. That if you have a Brownian motion that occurs, such as from quantum jumps, and Seto and De La Pena actually have a different theory of quantum jumps, but it helps them reach the same conclusion I have, that you end up with something equivalent to Brownian motion. And Seto and De La Pena also showed that stochastic quantum mechanics and stochastic electrodynamics are very similar. They tend to work through stochastic electrodynamic theory rather than the stochastic quantum mechanics theory, SQM. And so they have a view that SQM emerges from SED. And I tend to think more of it as SED emerging from SQM, the Brownian motion being more elementary, while they look at more what's the cause, underlying cause behind the zero point fluctuations themselves. And other than a mathematical description, I don't really have a mechanical one. So I tend to put what I can think of mechanically first. But that aside, when you have researchers converging on the same answer, then that's usually a sign that you're headed in the right direction. And they've also shown in papers, and I'll give a bunch of links below, um, also as well as Anna Maria Seto's research gate page where you can do a deep dive if you're really into quantum mechanics and quantum electrodynamics. And they've shown that quantum electrodynamics emerges from stochastic quantum mechanics, stochastic electrodynamics. Now they're not the first to come up with that idea that uh, stochastic electrodynamics started with Marshall and then Timothy Boyer did a great job in coming up with a lot of ideas and been a strong advocate for it. And so there, it's more than just two people, but right now uh, Seto and De La Pena are coming up with the best work. I think. And of course they show that quantum electrodynamics can be a emergent property of the zero point field, the quantum field. And they do that through stochastic electrodynamic derivations. So to me, this is done deal. Everything in classical electromagnetics fits with it being an emergent property of the quantum field, and the quantum mechanics, quantum electrodynamics, falls out of it as well. So this is a major discovery. This should be it. I mean, this should be one of the discoveries of the century. And yet you don't hear about it at all in popular science media. But I wanted to share it with my subscribers, so now you know. And you can share it and show it to your friends. So please like the video, share it, and subscribe. 
And I went over 2,000 subscribers, so thank you very much to all my subscribers. And please share it so more people can get news and information like this that they may not get from popular science media. And I want to thank my PayPal, Patreon, and Super Thanks supporters. You help me out a lot. And I do have books for sale on my other research. And to everyone, thanks for watching.